I'll never be there, I thought to myself. Like a toy soldier looking up at the high shelf, I stood small and eager, unaware of the fast-approaching ceiling cluttered with Pyrex beakers and confusing butterfly feelings. Both labeled chemistry, and both felt as though they wouldn't occur in a century, but already both happened. And now with my face pressed up against the plaster, time moving faster and faster, new years ushered in by new tears and fears that I hoped would be cleared in the past, but they just seemed to last. And I guess that's because the solutions don't come along with the conclusions of imaginary barriers, that is, a one-digit increase in age or the turning of a calendar page. Neither have to exist, but to deny either is to resist something that will persist. So we keep time in logs and use dates as knives to separate the fog into easy-to-handle chunks. But if you take a step back, and look at a lifespan. You have so much time to enjoy life's plan, but it's dangerous. Wasting time losing it is painless, but making up for that loss is like suffocating beneath the smothering gloss after your little bubble mixture of ignorance and indifference pops. Because at one point, the substance of life ran thin, and you, the criminal and victim suffering within, hits the dirt hard and looks back into a forest of blurry photographs of the past. Edges singed me as you flew by too fast.